Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you four of my family's favorite carnivore meals. The first meal my family has been loving lately is anything to do with pork belly. Breakfast is our main meal in this house, our family meal at least, and so I usually make a big breakfast and pork belly has been a part of it lately. I've been doing this in exchange for buying regular bacon because I wanted to do a cleaner version for a while and see if that makes a difference. So I just purchase the pork belly from Sam's Club and take it home and slice it myself nice and thick and then add a little bit of salt to both sides and throw it in the air fryer. Usually at 400 it comes out the best and it's absolutely delicious. The fat is amazing and the whole family loves this with some eggs typically for breakfast. The next meal I find myself making a lot are bacon burger bowls. So I'm starting here with some bacon that I got from the farmer's market. This is actually beef bacon and so it's a little bit leaner than what I'm used to, but you could use regular bacon or some pork belly. And I'm just cutting it up and frying it in my pan. Once the bacon has crisped up a little bit, I'm gonna add some ground beef. I use ground beef for a lot of different recipes, but this one in particular allows me to kind of use whatever I have. It's kind of like a kitchen sink recipe, which is always handy when you've got some leftovers, but today we're just gonna add some fresh ground beef. And I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. You could add any cheese of your choice here. This is the family version that I'm making. I don't eat any cheese or dairy as of right now. Next I'm adding an egg and just mixing that in to give it a little bit of a bind and some extra nutrition. To serve for my little one, she really likes the Parmesan cheese so I just add a little bit of extra for her bowl. And then for myself, I'm cooking a plainer version so just some plain ground beef and at this time I was still eating egg yolks. I've recently cut those out again as well, but sometimes I do crave them and so I'll throw in a few egg yolks with a little salt and make myself my own ground beef bowl. This recipe is so versatile. Again, you could add chicken, you could add pork, you could use roast, you could use any kind of leftovers that you have and create a little bacon base for your leftover meat to top with some eggs, maybe a little cheese, and you've got a highly nutritious, delicious, comforting, satisfying meal for any night of the week. The next recipe is an air fryer ground beef bowl. So I'm just adding some ground beef to my air fryer basket at 400 degrees and cooking that until it's done. Next, I'm gonna add some leftover shredded chicken. These were some chicken thighs that I did in the crock pot the day before. And I'm just gonna cook these in the leftover fat until they get really nice and crispy. So I call these crispy beef bowls. And you could use any type of shredded leftover meat for your crispy topping here. This just adds a really nice flavor, a different texture, and again, some contrast to break up the monotony that can sometimes be ground beef if you're eating a lot of that. I've done this a lot with burger with chicken for the crispies and I've also done it the opposite way, cooking some chicken thighs in the air fryer with some crispy brisket topping which was absolutely delicious. And the last meal, the fourth meal I'm going to share with you is my famous ground beef jerky, believe it or not. My family will eat this as a meal. We take this on car trips, we take this out to the park, we take this everywhere with us, and it's very easy to make in the dehydrator, and I cannot keep up with the amount of jerky that we go through. So I will typically eat it plain myself or top it with some tallow, 
And for the little one, I will make little jerky and butter sandwiches, which she absolutely loves. And this is one of her favorite ways to eat beef. So this is always going in my house and we consume tons and tons of beef jerky here. So those are my family's top four favorite carnivore meals right now. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got inspired to make something delicious and carnivore for your family today. Stay tuned for another video.